Welcome to the seventh episode of the Book of Unwritten Tales. We'll be here to carry on with our playthrough through this marvelous game with our little elven girl. Hmm. There are three stone figures by the bars. Each one of them has a precious stone in it. This one here has an emerald. This figure looks a bit like a dog. One of its eyes is a large ruby. This bird has an eye made out of a blue precious stone. I think it's a sapphire. Shiny. We like shiny. You took Guess your... even a secret seller is in the end just a seller. And all sellers have gardening tools such as these gardening shears. Oh, oh, oh! We can, we can probably use this on the wines outside. Come on, take him. As long as I'm not expected to do the gardening now. Yeah, sure, sure, no, no, of course a not. A small circular opening in the ground. It's decorated with an ancient script, just like the picture on the wall. Mm. A small circle. Ah, mm. oh, I see. A small fat figure. She's holding a mirror above her head. Looks ancient. Wait. A picture on a stone slab. It depicts a man in a robe with a staff in his hand. A jewel what? is glinting in the headpiece of the staff. Hmm. Some sort of light beam shining on it. Interesting. Ooh, the staff! I think this should be this. This is a staff. Hey, that's the staff that was in the picture on the wall. About <gasps> two meters long, and it has a top made of bronze. It's just the jewel that's missing. Interesting. And they're apparently supposed to shine the light from here into these three crystals. But look at the junk. remains of extinct cultures and of the last camping trip. Junk. We can't take this. Hmm. A small fat figure. She's holding a mirror. No. Okay, apparently I need the crystals, so I think we need to get back up. Because I think we need to use the shears on the wines outside and maybe that will reveal something. Because I don't remember seeing any crystals around. Hmm. Let's see. Gardening shears on the un over I don't undergrowth. I not believe it. Now I've ended up doing the gardening. Well, excuse me, girlfriend! We need to solve this. It is indeed a gravestone. We need to rescue the dude! The gremlin thing. A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. Mm. A little gravestone. Okay, that was useless. Hey, maybe we can use the staff to open the wooden cover. Come on, open. <gasps> the window's open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. Okay. I'm guessing that uh, causes the light to go from here, here, and here. Hmm. I think he's, he is something has to help us. I'm worried about that. All right. Wait. Then I have The light beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror. But it's simply shining onto the floor. Can I change it at all? No. Hmm. Wait, I think I'm most likely supposed to put the staff in here. Right? <laughs> Aha! I'm not as stupid as I look ish. <laughs> look ish. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time we need to talk to the wonderful mummy, dude. Because. I'm gonna regret this. I just know I am. Hey, friend. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> How exactly did the iron bars in the cellar open? Hey, I'm talking to you. You? You can speak? <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'll work it out for myself. No, no, no! I'd rather search through every nook and cranny of this house than inflict any more of these conversations upon my elven ears. Good damn it. You? You can speak? 
I know you've never been down there, but there was a staff in the cellar, and there's a precious stone that belongs on the top of it, a ruby. Do you know where it is? But of course, Mortimer. You asked me to hide it for you. Don't you remember? Uh, I, I must have forgotten about that. Oh, what would you do without me? Could you please just give it to me? I just need it for a second. What? The jewel. And before you ask, I mean the stone that you put somewhere safe for more... me. And please don't tell me that you've forgotten. How could I forget that? You said it was very important that no one found the stone. Oh, okay. Now please can I have it back? Why would I give a complete and utter stranger Mortimer's stone? I want to hit him. But I am Mortimer. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You're too tall, too thin, too hairy. And you have those... those things there. <laughs> I reckon you can guess. <clears throat> Guess what he was I'm pointing I'm a friend at. of Mortimer. He sent me to fetch something out of the cellar. I have never seen you here before, and I never forget a face. Please, it's urgent. I do not know whether I can trust you. I would only give a really good friend of Mortimer's the jewel. That's me. I saved his life. Well, maybe. Really? Hmm. If you are truly a good friend of Mortimer, then you will be able to give me the answer to the following question. What colour is his underwear? Ah, fudge! Oh god, what's in the red? Red. He mostly wears red underwear. That's right! Red silk underwear. Yeah. But I'm still not quite satisfied. So... What is his cat's name? <gasps> Kinski was her cat! Yes! His cat died some while ago. Her gravestone's outside. Her name was Kinski. It was a tomcat. <sighs> the poor thing was always so happy playing with my bandages. Yes, very sad, very sad. But hopefully this proves that I am a good friend of old Mortimer, does it not? You have only answered one of my questions. No, I have not. Two? Uh, you asked me about his underwear. But why would his underwear be of any interest to me? Mm. Oh, come on, don't change the subject. Are you going to give me that jewel now? No, not yet. I have one last question. Uh-oh. What did Count Grunschfeld or Pieperbock say to his adjutant Henninger shortly before the Battle of Budleberg? Huh? Wrong. No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I am a trifle unsure about this, too. It is a bit like a coded question. And do you know the answer? Of course. Mortimer told me. And you haven't forgotten it? I... um... um... no. <laughs> so, what is the answer? Oh dear, uh-oh. I am your father. Um... I am your father is what he said. He talked about an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> oh, fuck 234, it. 234, of course. Oh? What? 234. I know all about that. Mortimer told me many times. 234 what? <laughs> you don't know, but surely you have How to... can anyone who is a good friend of Mortimer not know that? Oh, yeah. But how? Go. What? <laughs> 234. Mortimer never told you that? Well, yes. 234? In your face. So it turns out that you aren't such a good friend after all, then. If you don't even know anything about THE 234. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that! You mean THAT 234? Yes, exactly. With that Sorry. thingy 
<laughs> Precisely. I see that you are a good friend of old Mortimer's after all. Of course. Splendid. Now that you've proven that, can you give me the jewel? At last. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Many thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Well, hopefully that is the last of our chatty, chatty, chatty Kathy with that little bugger. Oh God. But yeah, you know, when you're dealing with someone as confused as him, just confuse the hell out of him in your turn. That should do it. Okay, so the jewel is supposed to be here. Fits perfectly. But we need to... Hmm. Hmm. There are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. Oh, I've got really? to try and turn it back to its original position. Yes, you do. Come on, turn it. Mm, one more. Okay, fine. Two more. Yes! Woo! Excellent. The path is clear. <laughs> did, did, did. I am just my. I am just my. Somebody. Somebody. This must be the secret book. Oh, it's been written by hand and there are several pictures. Yay, pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. That doesn't exist, does it? The artifact of divine fate. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. As long as I don't bump into the sorcerer or his troll, I should manage to make Seastone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. We're uh -oh. gonna run into him, aren't we? Yes, we are. Of course. Um, run, little elf! Run! Ah. Ah. What? What? Oh, dumb woman. Elf thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs>